Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Gigabyte Odin GT 800 watt power supply. What's included is an installation guide, an installation CD, a pouch with modular leads, a USB bracket, four thermal sensors, and there's a fan extension cable. This is for the system fans. Also there are eight screws, four standard and four thumb screws, and the power supply. The Odin GT line of power supplies are available in 550, 680 and 800 watts. I will be reviewing the 800 watt model which is enough power for most high end computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 180 watts and the 12 volt is 744 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard memory, PCI cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt is 30 amps and the plus 5 volt is 28 amps. Unlike most power supplies that have one or two plus 12 volt rails this model has four the plus 12 volt one and the plus 12 volt two are both 18 amps and the plus 12 volt three and plus 12 volt four are 25 amps there are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply the first is wattage determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing generally speaking a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply if however you are going hardcore and have a multiple video card set up with lots of other hardware select a power supply that's above 700 watts Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is rated above 80% under typical load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, overvoltage, undervoltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend getting a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. I should also note that this power supply has Japanese capacitors, which means cleaner, more reliable power than cheaper capacitors found in many other power supplies on the market. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. The housing is steel and they include a very quiet 140 millimeter fan with blue LEDs on the inside. Note that the fan is recessed so will fit in just about any ATX case on the market. Along with the ventilation holes and this large fan it ensures maximum cooling so the power supply will remain cool in just about any environment. Here's the power cable connection and the on off switch. At the back of the power supply are the four thermal sensor connections, system fan connection, and the modular lead connections. This power supply has ample leads and all the leads are sleeved which reduces cable mess inside the case and will improve airflow. The main motherboard leads which includes the 24 pin, 4 pin, 8 pin are hardwired into the power supply. Also there are two PCI Express video card leads also hardwired into the power supply and a USB connection which again is hardwired into the power supply and cannot be removed but the peripheral leads and extra video card leads are modular. This modular design makes connecting and disconnecting leads a snap. It also means that you only need to use the leads required for your particular setup. Additionally, the four pin Molux leads have easy grip connectors which make connecting and disconnecting hardware simple. 
One very unique feature about this power supply is it gets connected into the computer's USB port. The software that's included enables total control over the power supply at the click of a button. It displays wattage usage for total watts and peak watts. It shows voltage and current information for all rails. It even gives power supply fan and system fan speeds along with power supply and system temperature information. Another cool feature is the four blue LEDs can be turned off using this software. This software also allows the power supply to be configured to your personal preference. There are a number of preset modes for fan speed or you can choose a manual mode. There is also a voltage configuration area so the plus 12 volt, plus 5 volt and plus 3.3 volt rails can be decreased or increased depending upon the application. The software also enables protection through an alarm system so you can set the alarm on wattage, voltage current, fan speeds, and temperatures. This power supply is also designed to automatically shut down when the power usage exceeds the limit. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan. This power supply is clearly not like any other power supply that's currently on the market. Not only does this power supply perform exceptionally well, it has modular leads, a quiet 140mm fan and you've got total control over the power supply with the software. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. A system fan connection, engine, 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 eng